Hey guys, this is your friend Maidan from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, as you know, we are providing record sessions on Tecla Structural Designer at a very affordable price for all students who want to learn Tecla Structural Design. So we have these WhatsApp groups in which students send their doubts. So one of the students have a doubt on how to apply your particular wind panels uh, to in irregular structure. So for that we had, uh, he had sent me the model and he wanted to you know just clear his queries so let's see how to apply the wind loads on an irregular structure so first of all uh, when you have an irregular structure you need the software needs to know in which direction the wind will act so that you can provide the wind load so since the panels are rectangular we can uh, apply an easy hack to do that uh, which we had discussed in an earlier video but uh, here what the student has done that uh, uh, he had applied the wind panels but uh, he had not applied any particular structural members so so that uh, the, if there was an error in the uh, validation so for that uh, we can uh, make an effort to correct this first of all we'll delete all this uh, particular uh, we, panels which we have because we don't need them we'll select them and then delete it so we don't need the wind panels now so we'll go to the plinth level where we'll assign the new that is uh, wind panels so we delete this uh, construction lines which he had created because we don't need this uh, now. So yes, after that uh, we can uh, create some fresh um, uh, construction lines here so that it covers the entire structure. So we'll uh, select one here and escape and then another one. Let's do it. Uh, along this here and another one let's do it along here and another one let's do it along here so like this we can do and you know after doing this we can apply our particular uh, that is columns uh, so before that now as you can see this this is a grid line and this is also a grid line so after let's apply some columns here so these columns will be for non-structural purposes that is only for uh, you know just uh, supporting the wind panels we won't design them it's just for you know making the wind panels in the manner which you want so the top level is the headroom and the bottom level is this one so let's do this and place this columns here any size you can just pick for the column i have taken size of 200 into 200 you can take any size so after that uh, you can uh, go into the 3d view so now this grid should also be visible in the 3d view so we'll go to the plinth level and uh, go to the structure go to this plinth level and uh, make the properties or uh, change the properties of the plinth level as you can see this one uh, will make the show grids in 3d We'll make this uh, property change so now the grids are available in the 3d view as you can see so the grids along here as you can check let's check for the new columns which we have created whether the grids are available or not so we have a point here for the new column which you have created and for this also we have a grid here this is the grid intersection so we have the grids which are visible using these grids we can create the wind panels go to a model wall panel and we'll carefully select the grids from the plinth level because we'll apply the wind loads starting uh, from the plinth level second point and the third point and in the final point we will just double click So after that, we select this point, we select the point of the intersection, this point and then let's select this intersection point, third point and then the fourth point, have to select this carefully, double click. So after selecting this can select the remaining points so take 
the code model and take the wall panel again and then choose the remaining points as well the tenth level here we have the zoom in and take the correct point zoom out select this point and then this point and then carefully zoom in and apply it to the last point which we have so this has been done in three sides starting from the plinth level and then we'll again start from here that is our plinth level zoom out and then zoom in and select this and we'll go for the last point here this and then in the plinth level this one double click so after we've done that just click on escape and after we have done this as you can see we have you know been successful in creating the wind panel starting from the plinth level and covering all the particular directions in which wind can act then just validate it as you can see the validation is good so now we're good to design this building model as per the wind loops so friends hope your queries have been cleared how to apply uh, your wind panels to an irregular building and please note after the design is completed you know don't need to focus this this uh, particular uh, columns will come as your uh, unknown uh, and because you don't have to worry about that because you don't uh, want to design this only we have applied for uh, the purpose of uh, so that the software can take the wind panels so that's why you have applied this so don't worry if the if this columns are not designed because you don't need them so friends hope your queries have been cleared keep learning that's all for today bye bye